silicone gel, when I first went into practice, was the consistency of oil. So you can imagine if you had a tear in the implant and the shells were not as well made, so we saw more tears in the shell, this oil would get released into the body. It's a mess to try and take it out. The implants were not as well made as they could have been, which led to the development of much stronger shells, and then the gel consistency has changed. Rather than oil, what are called responsive gel, is like the consistency of jello. So even if there is a disruption in the shell, the gel doesn't ooze out over the body. These are very nice implants that feel very soft. Allergan recently came out with a soft touch gel, which has a little more cross-linking, which are chemical bonds between the silicone molecules that hold them together. This is a version of the gummy bear implant, where the gel will hold its consistency even if the implant is cut in half. Advantage of that is that you have a very soft feeling implant, but a much lower risk of wrinkling and rippling. There's a third option that's highly cohesive gel. Those are the true gummy bear implants. These have the advantage they can hold shape, so a patient would like a shaped implant, but the trade-off is the implant feels a little bit firmer.